Good morning. Let's have breakfast. We're on John chapter 9. <clears throat> and passing by, he saw a man blind from birth. And his taught ones asked him, saying, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he should be born blind? Yeshua answered, Neither this man nor his parents sinned, but that the works of Elohim might be made manifest in him. It is necessary for me to work the works of him who sent me while it is day. Night is coming when no one is able to work. While I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Having said this, he spat on the ground and made clay with the saliva and applied the clay to the eyes of the blind man. He said to him, Go wash in the pool of Shiloh, which means scent. So he went and washed and came seen. Therefore the neighbors and those who saw him before that he was blind said, Is this not he who was sitting and begging? Others said, This is he. Others said, He is like him. He said, I am. So they said to him, How were your eyes opened? He answered and said, A man called Yeshua made clay and applied it to my eyes and said to me, Go to the pool of Shiloh and wash. And I went and washed and received sight. And they said to him, Where is he? He said, I do not know. They brought to the Pharisees the one who was once blind. Now it was a Sabbath when Yeshua made the clay and opened his eyes. Therefore the Pharisees also asked him again how he had received his sight. He said to them, He put clay on my eyes, and I washed and I see. Therefore some of the Pharisees said, This man is not from Elohim, because he does not guard the Sabbath. Others said, How is a man who is a sinner able to do such miracles? And there was a division among them. And they said to the blind one again, What do you say about him because he opened your eyes? And he said, He is a prophet. However, the Yehudim did not believe concerning him that he had been blind and received his sight. So they called the parents of him who had received his sight, and they asked them, saying, Is this your son, who you say was born blind? How then does he now see? His parents answered them and said, We know that this is our son, and that he was born blind. But how he now sees we do not know, or who opened his eyes we do not know. He is of age, ask him. He shall speak concerning himself. His parents said this because they were afraid of the Yehudim, for the Yehudim had already agreed that if anyone confessed that he was Messiah, he should be put out of the congregation. Because of this, his parents said, He is of age, ask him. For the second time, they called the man who was blind and said to him, Give esteem to Elohim, we know that this man is a sinner. Then he answered and said, Whether he is a sinner, I do not know. I only know that I was blind, and now I see. And they asked him once more, What did he do to you? How did he open your eyes? He answered them, I have told you already, and you did not hear. Why do you wish to hear it again? Do you wish to become his taught ones too? And they abused him and said, You are his taught one, but we are taught ones of Moshe. We know that Elohim has spoken to Moshe, but this one we do not know where he is from. And the man answered and said to them, Why, this is a wonder. You do not know where he is from, yet he opened my eyes. And we know that Elohim does not hear sinners. But if anyone fears Elohim and does his desire, he hears him. From of old it has never been heard that anyone opened the eyes of one who was born blind. 
If this one were not from Elohim, he could have done none at all. They answered and said to him, You were completely born in sins, and are you teaching us? And they cast him out. Yeshua heard that they had cast him out, and when he had found him, he said to him, Do you believe in the son of Elohim? He answered and said, Who is he, Master, that I might believe in him? And Yeshua said to him, You have both seen him, and he who speaks with you is he. And he said, Master, I believe, and bowed before him. And Yeshua said, For judgment I have come into this world, that those not seeing might see, and those seeing might become blind. And those of the Pharisees who were with him heard these words and said to him, Are we blind too? And Yeshua said to them, If you were blind, you would have no sin, but now you say we see, therefore your sins remain. Truly, truly, I say to you, he who does not enter through the door into the sheepfold, but climbs up by another way, that one is a thief and a robber. But he who enters through the door is the shepherd of the sheep. The doorkeeper opens for him, and the sheep hear his voice, and he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. And when he had brought out his own sheep, he goes before them, and the sheep follow him because they know his voice. And they shall by no means follow a stranger, but shall flee from him because they do not know the voice of a stranger. Yeshua used this figure of speech, but they did not know what he had been saying to them. Yeshua therefore said to them again, Truly, truly, I say to you, I am the door of the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. Whoever enters through me, he shall be saved, and shall go in, and shall go out and find pasture. The thief does not come except to steal, and to slaughter, and to destroy. I have come that they might possess life, and that they might possess it beyond measure. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. But the hireling, and not being a shepherd, one who does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and flees. The wolf snatches the sheep and scatters them. Now the hireling flees because he is a hireling and is not concerned about the sheep. I am the good shepherd, and I know mine, and mine know me. Even as the Father knows me, and I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep, the other sheep I have which are not of this fold, I have to bring them as well, and they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one flock, one shepherd. Because of this the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to receive it again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of myself. I have authority to lay it down, and I have authority to receive it again. This command I have received from my Father. Again, there came a division among the Yahudim because of these words. Many of them said, He has a demon and is mad. Why do you listen to him? Others said, These are not the words of one possessed by a demon. Is a demon able to open the eyes of the blind? At that time, the Hanukkah came to be in Yerushalayim, and it was winter. And Yeshua was walking in the set-apart place in the porch of Shelomo. So the Yahudim surrounded him and said to him, How long do you keep us in suspense? If you are the Messiah, say to us plainly. Yeshua answered them, I have told you, and you do not believe. The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness concerning me. But you do not believe, because you are not of my sheep. And I said to you, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. 
and I give them everlasting life, and they shall by no means ever perish, and no one shall snatch them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all, and no one is able to snatch them out of my hand. I and my Father are one. Again the Yehudim picked up stones to stone him. Yeshua answered them, Many good works I have shown you from my Father, because of which of these works do you stone me? The Yehudim answered him, saying, We do not stone you for a good work, but for blasphemy, and because you, being a man, make yourself Elohim. Yeshua answered them, Is it not written in your own Torah, I said, You are Elohim? If he called them Elohim, to whom the word of Elohim came, and it is impossible for the scripture to be broken. Do you say of him, whom the Father sent apart and sent into the world, you are blaspheming because I said I am the son of Elohim? If I do not do the works of my Father, do not believe me. But if I do, though you do not believe me, believe the works so that you know and believe that the Father is in me and I in him. Therefore they were seeking again to seize him, but he went forth out of their hand and went once more to the other side of the Yarden, to the place where Yohanan was immersing at first, and there he stayed. And many came to him and said, Yohanan indeed did no sign, yet all that Yohanan said about this man was true and many believed in him.